Hi, in this video I want to show you how to find center of gravity of a quadrilateral. The same way as I explained in the previous video for a triangle, here also we have two types of center of gravity. One is point mass center of gravity, in which the masses are located at the vertices, and one is area mass center of gravity, in which the mass is distributed across an area. Now here I assume that these masses are equal, and in this case, the mass is distributed uniformly. Now, unlike the case of a triangle, which we have shown that both of these center of gravities are actually one point, for a general quadrilateral, this is not true. So they might be two different points. If the quadrilateral is symmetrical, like a rectangle or a square, then these two points are one point. If it is not symmetrical, if it is a general quadrilateral, then these two points are two different points. So this is what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you how to find the exact position of the center of gravities for both of these scenarios. Okay, so the first case is point mass center of gravity. Let us consider quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Uh, because we assume that the masses are equal, so what is connected at A is equal to what is connected at B, we know that center of gravity of AB would be the midpoint of AB, which is point E. The same way the center of gravity of masses connected at C and D uh, is at midpoint of CD, which is M here. So the total center of gravity of these quadrilateral would be somewhere along EM, along this line. The same way we can say that the total center of gravity of this quadrilateral is somewhere along NF which N is midpoint of AD and F is midpoint of BC. So obviously the only point that fulfills uh, these conditions is um, the intersection of these two lines. So this point is the point mass center of gravity of uh, this quadrilateral. Now basically this is the, the instruction how to find it. Uh, we find the midpoint of each side and we connect the midpoint of opposite sides and the intersection of these lines gives us the point mass center of gravity. If you want to find the coordinate of the center of gravity, it's also very simple. We have to use these formulas in which uh, m is the mass that mi is the mass that is connected at each vertex and xi is the coordinate of that vertex. Now here we assume that the masses are equal, so we have x coordinate of the center of gravity is basically mxa plus mxb plus mxc plus mxd divided by the total mass which is 4m. So we simplify it. So x coordinate is actually sum of x coordinate of the vertices divided by 4, and y coordinate is sum of y coordinate of the vertices divided by 4. So this is all about point mass center of gravity of a quadrilateral. Now we will see the area mass center of gravity. Okay, so the second case is area mass center of gravity. Let us consider quadrilateral A, B, C, D in which the mass is distributed uniformly across its area. Now what I do, I draw the diagonal AC and I divide this quadrilateral into two triangles. So we have triangle ABC and we have triangle ACD. Now from the previous video, we know that area mass center of gravity of a triangle is the point of intersection of its median. So basically we can find the area mass center of gravity of ABC that is G1, which is the point of intersection of its median, which basically means like this. The same way I can find the area mass center of gravity of ACD, that gives, a, gives me G2. So now the total center of gravity of this quadrilateral should be somewhere on the line G1, G2. The same way I can argue that um, the total center of gravity of this quadrilateral should be somewhere on the line G3, G4. So the only point that fulfills both of these conditions is the intersection of these two lines. So basically the intersection of G1, G2 and G3, G4 gives me G, which is the area mass center of gravity of this quadrilateral. Now the text that I have here is the same thing as I have just explained. So now I'm going to uh, use a software to illustrate these two points a bit better. Okay, so here I have a quadrilateral, which I draw in the software named GeoGebra. 
so we have GP. This GP is point mass center of gravity. As you can see, it's the intersection of these two lines. And GA is area mass center of gravity, intersection of these two lines. These are the center of gravity of the, tri of the triangles, as I just explained in the previous slides. Now, we can see that these two points are not actually on top of each other when we have a general quadrilateral. But if I have a symmetrical quadrilateral, for example, I make a parallelogram right now, you can see that these two points fall on top of each other. Now, if I bring one of these vertex, for example, vertex A, very close to vertex D, then this shape is almost a triangle. And for a triangle, we said that area mass center of gravity and point mass center of gravity, they are actually one point. Now, from area point of view, then, okay, so this is area mass center of gravity of this object, which is almost a triangle. But we can see that point mass center of gravity is now different. This is because right now for this quadrilateral shape, we have actually two times mass at this position. So that's why the point mass center of gravity is shifted toward this vertex. Um, one thing else that I want to mention, if the quadrilateral is convex, then both of these points are inside the quadrilateral. But if it is concave, for example, if I move this vertex here, you can see that these points can, can go outside the, the quadrilateral. And for example, for the case of um, area mass center of gravity, you see that these two segments, they don't uh, intersect. So in this case, we have to extend them to create the intersection. So this is really the, the point of um, area mass center of gravity for this concave uh, quadrilateral. Of course, it's not, not all the cases that these two points are outside. So sometimes for some concave quadrilateral, these points can be inside. So for example, right now you see that this is inside and this will be also inside. But if it is, but there are scenarios which they can go outside of the quadrilateral. But if it is convex, then always they are inside. Okay, so now I'm going to do some experiments and show you that whatever analysis that we have done is really uh, true in real life. This is a quadrilateral shape that uh, I have cut from a piece of cardboard. Now, as I explained in the video, we can find the area mass center of gravity. So first we find the center of gravity of that triangle. This gives us G2. Center of gravity of this triangle. This gives us G4. The connection gives us a line. The same way we get another line and the intersection is the area mass center of gravity. Now, if I take a stick, a piece of stick and then put it at that point, we can see that this is indeed the, the area mass center of gravity. So you can see that it balances at that point. Now what I do, I will connect weights at the corners and then we find the point mass center of gravity. And we see that these two points are not at the same point. And for when we have the weights, then the, the center of gravity is actually a different point. So we have to put the stick under the other point to create a balance. So this is the point mass center of gravity in which we have to connect the midpoint of opposite sides. And the intersection of these two lines gives us the point mass center of gravity. Now I have connected weights of 100 gram to each of the vertices. Um, these weights are much more than the weight that is distributed here. So I assume that these weights more or less define the center of gravity of these objects. So that's why I expect that the total center of gravity right now should be very close to this uh, point mass center of gravity. So, okay, let's let's look at it. So I just put it like this, and these weights are hanging now. I take my stick and I put it on the point mass center of gravity point. And yeah, this is correct. Now it's obviously if I put it on area mass center of gravity, it's not balanced at all. But if I put it on point mass center of gravity, it's very well balanced. So this is fantastic. Uh, okay, so here we are at the end of the video. I decided actually to make this video because a while back I, I was very much confused about the center of gravity of a quadrilateral. Because from high school, I knew that the center of gravity of a quadrilateral is basically the connection of of the the midpoint of opposite sides so this intersection the point mass center of gravity but then in internet i i realized that other people they mentioned another point as center of gravity 
So I was confused for a few hours. Why? Why there are two points? What? Why? Why these these two points are not usually on top of each other? So how? How that is possible? And then eventually I realized that okay, there are two definitions for center of gravity: point mass center of gravity and area mass center of gravity. So I decided to make this video and share the information with everyone, such that you don't need to waste your time figuring this out. Okay, bye.